day. Attention Career Line Tech Center applicants. Applications for sophomore and junior students who are interested in attending Career Tech Center for the 2022-2023 school year are now open. Applications will be evaluated after the February 11th deadline and are not based on a first come first serve basis. There will be a meeting for sophomores on Tuesday, January 18 during seminar to answer all questions that might come up in regards to the Tech Center application process. Students who are interested must pre-register by 12 p.m. this Monday, January 17, to attend the meeting. Seniors, if you did not submit your senior photo for the yearbook to Mr. Henning, your student ID photo will be used, and you don't want that. So turn in your senior photo to Mr. Henning now. Hiring and managing groups is an important task in every business. As businesses grow, they create a dedicated department called Human Resources. Career Connections on Tuesday, January 18th, will be hosting a speaker who will share with us what it means to work in human resources area. Check your student email for the sign-up form. Are you 16 years or older? Do you want to save three lives? Check your email to sign up to get blood in one week today, January 21st. If you have any questions, email Frau Wedge. Interested juniors and seniors, Douglas J. Aveda Salon will be here February 7th at 9.30 in the main campus media center. Please sign up in the guidance office. And here's someone we haven't heard from in a while. Here's Kyle King with a message. Hello, I just have a small announcement. No, it's not that I'm coming back for taking suggestions. No, 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 don't, don't play the intro. I'm simply here to tell the seniors, and only the seniors, to please email me your favorite songs, ranging anywhere from three songs to ten songs. I don't really want to say why, because I'm going to spoil things if I do, but let's just say you guys don't want 30 minutes of this, 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 or any of these going on in the background. Can you guys still hear them? So seniors, please do that. My email is kking3 at hbsstudents.net, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of today's episode of Eagle Eye News. And now, here's Johnny with the Flack Report. Welcome to the Flack Report. I'm Johnny Vanderbond. Last weekend, the hockey team came home as the Walker Mayors Cup champions, defeating both Kenwell Hills and Kalamazoo United. Wednesday night, they defeated Northview 4-1 and will head to Muskegon tomorrow to take on Reese Puffer. Back on Tuesday, the boys' swim team fell short at West Ottawa. Boys' bowling took second at the Jenison Invite last Saturday and also picked up a couple of conference wins over Granville and Grand Haven this past week. Girls' bowling won the Jenison Invite last Saturday and split this past week's conference slate, losing to Granville but beating Grand Haven. Last Saturday, competitive cheer took the victory at the West Ottawa Invite as they cruise into conference play. This Saturday, they will compete in the Hudson Mill Eagle Invite right here at home. The ski team competed in the first conference meet on Wednesday, the girls placing seventh and the boys placing fifth. Their next race will be next Wednesday at Timber Ridge. Last Saturday at the Forest Hills Central Quad, wrestling topped both Sparta and Forest Hills Central. Coming off of those wins helped the Eagles take down West Ottawa 45-22 and East Kentwood 66-10 as they began conference play on Wednesday. Girls basketball doubled Grand Haven's score last Friday. Tuesday they took down East Kentwood 78-47 and they look to use their hot conference start to get past Rockford tonight. Boys basketball put up a solid fight against a strong Grand Haven team last Friday but fell short 50-58. The boys were able to rebound back with a win at East Kentwood on Tuesday and will play at Rockford tonight. The girls will play at 6 with the boys to follow, so show up. Thanks for watching the Flock Report. I'm Johnny Vanderbond. Here's Emma with the lunch. Good morning, Hudsonville. Today for lunch is going to be potato bar, and I'm not really sure if I'm going to participate in this one just because it has some cheese. Um, but on Monday, it's going to be turkey gravy with mashed potatoes and dinner roll, and I'm so excited for that. Thank you. Happy birthdays for January 14 and the weekend.